Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina calls for immediate ending of Ukraine and Russia war. ICC chairman assures Bangladesh of giving all-out support for developing cricket. Works progressing fast to launch metro rail route from Uttara to Agargao in December. Flood situation in Sulet, Sunamganj and Mulubi Bazar improves while rivers in Jamalpur swell. Ukraine rejects ceasefire deal brokered by Western countries. Russia intensifies military onslaught in Donbass. And Letondas and Mushfiq Rahim pull Bangladesh up from collapsing in Dhaka test, scored 277 for 5. Assalamu alaikum viewers, I'm Tanzila Manar Sultan, welcoming you all to News at 10 on BTV, BTV World, and BTV Chattogram Center. You have just heard the headlines, so moving on to news in detail. <laughs> Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has called for immediate ending of Ukraine-Russia war. She emphasized on combined efforts to overcome the situation. The Prime Minister made the call in a video message at the 78th annual session of the Economic and Social Commission for Asia and the Pacific in Bangkok today. Sheikh Hasina said as the world is struggling to recover from the impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic, the Russian-Ukrainian conflict came as a huge blow to the global economic and social stability. Sheikh Hasina also called for enhancing financial cooperation to improve regional crisis management. She placed a five-point proposal to strengthen the regional cooperation against the backdrop of the COVID-19 pandemic and Russia-Ukraine conflict. While talking about the Rohingya crisis, Sheikh Hasina again sought enhanced focus and active support of the international community for safe, sustainable and dignified return of the displaced people. He is struggling to recover from the impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic. The Russian-Ukrainian conflict came as a huge blow to the global economic and social stability. The poor and developing countries are experiencing the brunt of the war. The war must be stopped immediately and joint actions are needed to tackle the situation. I would like to propose the following steps that SCAP may take into account. Take action-oriented steps to facilitate Collaboration in pursuit of knowledge and innovation. Request for international support measures to the graduating countries in a more pragmatic way. Assist member states to get united to pursue sufficient allocation of funds and technology for climate change victim countries. Enhance regional financial cooperation to improve regional crisis management capacity and leveraging ICT for employment generation and growth of IT and IT enabled services to cope with the fourth IR. International Cricket Council Chairman Greg Berkeley assured Bangladesh of providing all necessary support for further development of its cricket. ICC will offer every support required to take Bangladesh cricket ahead further, he said. Berkeley said this during a courtesy call on Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina at Ghanabhabun this morning. During the meeting, the Premier said Bangladesh cricket undoubtedly would get uplift if it gets ICC support. The Prime Minister told the ICC chairman about her family's sportsmanship background, saying her grandfather, father and brothers were regular players and sports organizers. Assistant Press Secretary to the Prime Minister M. M. Imrul Khais briefed newsman after the meeting. The ICC chairman highly praised 
both the male and female cricket teams of Bangladesh for their outstanding performance in the last seven years. Referring to Bangladesh's first ever ICC Women's Cricket World Cup match victory, defeating Pakistan, Berkeley said the ICC would give all required support for development of Bangladesh women cricket. President of the Bangladesh Cricket Board, Nazmul Hassan Papun, and Senior Secretary to the Prime Minister's Office, Mohammad Tefazul Hussain Mia, were present. The country's first ever metro rail is scheduled to run commercially on the capital Uttaragarga route in December, the month of victory this year. The government also wants to open the second part of the project from Agargao to Motijil from December the next year. The construction works of stations, installation of electricity lines and rail lines are going on in full swing in the second part of the metro rail project. Installation of rail line on a viaduct has been completed up to Dhaka University. In the second part of the metro rail, Bijoy Sharoni and Motijil station will be iconic among the total seven stations. The overall work progress of Metro Rail project is more than 78%. A total of 24 sets of train will ply in the mass rapid transport line 6. A Warmilik General Secretary Ubadul Qadir has said BNP's comment on press freedom is an exposure of the party's new conspiracy against media and journalism. He said these in statement issued in protest against BNP Secretary General Mirza Fakrul Islam Alamgir's habitual falsehood and ill-motivated comment on press freedom. BNP has always been misusing freedom of expression by spreading propaganda and rumours against the Awamilik which had led the country's movement for independence and distorting the history of the Greater Liberation War, the key foundation of national unity, he said. Ubadul Qadir questioned BNP what they had done for expansion and flourishing of media and for interest and welfare of journalists when the party was in power. Obaidul Qadir urged BNP to shun the path of conspiracy to play a responsible role, keeping trust in the spirit of liberation war. He said the talks of press freedom don't suit the party, which was formed by autocrat Zia Rahman, who grabbed state power illegally. Rather, BNP misused state power to prevent flourishing the media and choke voice of journalists, he added. The overall flood situation in Silet district has been improved further as the water level in Surma and Kushiara rivers reduced to a great extent. After 10 days, the Surma river is flowing below the danger level at Silet point, but the Kushiara river is still flowing above the danger level at its all points. Flood waters in bordering Uposilas are reducing gradually, but new areas of Penchuganj and Balagonj Uposilas have gone underwater. The district administration is carrying out relief operations in the flood-affected areas. The flood situation in Sunamganj district has been improved to some extent as the water in flood-affected areas are reducing slightly but still thousands of people are struggling water logging. Waters in the Upazilas of Dirai, Shalla, Jamalganj and Jagannathpur are increasing further. The flood situation in Jamalpur district has worsened further due to heavy rain and waterfall from the upper stream. The water level in Jamuna River is continuing to rise, resulting in a vast tract of lands of Slampur, Melando, Madarganj, Sharishabari and Devanganj Upazilas have gone underwater. In Mulavi Bazar district, the flood situation has slightly improved as the water level in all the rivers started reducing. In Siraj Ganj district, due to heavy rain and downpour from the upper stream, the waters in all the rivers, including the Jumuna, have been increased further. As a result, fresh low-lying areas are being inundated along with the river erosion. Now, international news. Ukraine ruled out a ceasefire or any deal with Moscow that involved ceding territory. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's advisor, Mikhailo Podolyak made this clear in an interview in the heavily guarded presidential office. After calls for an immediate ceasefire from the U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin and the Italian Prime Minister Mario Draghi, Podolyak said agreeing to a ceasefire now while making concessions to Russia would backfire on Ukraine because Moscow would hit back harder after any break in fighting. Russia stepping up efforts to capture the eastern city of 
Severodonetsk. Meanwhile, a court in Ukraine jails a Russian tank commander for life for killing a civilian at the first war crimes trial of the war. The world is facing formidable challenges, including COVID, the war in Ukraine, and monkeypox. The head of the World Health Organization has warned. Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus was speaking in Geneva, where the UN health agency's experts were discussing the monkeypox outbreak in 15 nations outside Africa. As of Saturday, 92 confirmed cases and 28 suspected cases of monkeypox in Europe, the U.S., Canada, Australia and Israel. However, the risk to the wider public is said to be low. WHO had said the world faced a formidable convergence of disease, drought, famine and war fueled by climate change, inequity and geopolitical rivalry. Thailand has expressed interest to work with ICT Division of Bangladesh for knowledge sharing and developing cyber security, e-governance and startup ecosystem. Thailand Minister for Digital Economy and Society Chayud Thanaka Mansuron expressed the interest at a bilateral meeting with the State Minister Zunaid Ahmed Polok in Bangkok today. During the meeting, they discussed various bilateral issues including digital health, digital education, digital government, cyber security, startup ecosystem development, research and innovation. Zunaid Ahmed Polok briefed the Thailand minister about success of Digital Bangladesh and government plan of building Smart Bangladesh by 2041. Advisor of Thai Minister Tita Bhunno, Bangladesh Ambassador to Thailand Muhammad Abdul Hai, Councillor Muhammad Masumur Rahman, Councillor and Head of Chancery Dayamui Chakrabarti and concerned senior officials were present at the meeting. News on Weather Weather forecast valley till 6 p.m. tomorrow said rain or thunder showers with lightning flashes and temporary gusty or squally wind is likely to occur at a few places over Rajshahi and Chattogram divisions and at one or two places over Rangpur, Maiman Singh, Dhaka, Kulna, Borishal and Silla divisions. Now today's maximum and minimum temperature in divisional cities. Maximum 33 and minimum 25.6 degrees Celsius in Rangpur. Maximum 36 and to minimum 25.1 degrees Celsius in Rajshahi, maximum 32.2 and minimum 23.1 degrees Celsius in Baiman Singh, maximum 31.3 and minimum 24.5 degrees Celsius in Sulet, maximum 35.2 and minimum 27.5 degrees Celsius in Taka, maximum 36 and minimum 25 degrees Celsius in Kulna, Maximum 33.9 and minimum 26.5 degrees Celsius in Borishal and maximum 32.2, minimum 23.5 degrees Celsius in Chattogram Division. The highest temperature of the country was recorded 36.6 degrees Celsius in Jashor and lowest temperature was recorded 21.8 degrees Celsius in Tetulia today. The weather forecast for next three days. Day and night temperature may remain nearly unchanged and there will be cloudy sky at many places over the country. Light rain may occur somewhere. Day temperature may remain unchanged and stand at 33 degrees Celsius in the capital tomorrow. Minimum night temperature would be 24 degrees Celsius. There will be cloudy sky in the capital. Day temperature may be limited within 33 degrees Celsius in the capital on Wednesday. Minimum night temperature would be 25 degrees Celsius. There will be cloudy sky in the capital. Day temperature is likely to fall by 1 degree Celsius and stand at 33 degrees Celsius in the capital on Thursday. Minimum night temperature would be 25 degrees Celsius. Clouds and sunlight may appear in the sky. News on sport. Leton Das and Mushfiq Rahim stunned Sri Lanka, putting on a record partnership after a sensational collapse that saw Bangladesh slump to 24-5 in the first half an hour of the opening day of Dhaka Test today. 
They kept them on skip throughout the day after that horrible 30 minutes to lift Bangladesh to 277 for five at stumps. Leton was batting on 135 with Mushfiq on 115, sharing a record 253 run in an unbroken six-wicket stand. The pair made a highest partnership for six wicket or lower after losing the first five wickets for 25 runs or less, breaking the record of Waliz, Matthias and Shujauddin, who added 86 after the Team West Indies lost first wicket for 22 runs against Pakistan in Dhaka in 1959. They also put on highest partnership for Bangladesh in six wickets. To end the bulletin headlines once again. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina calls for immediate ending of Ukraine-Russia war. ICC Chairman assures Bangladesh of giving all-out support for developing cricket. Work progressing fast to launch metro rail route from Uttara to Agargao in December. Flood situation in Silet, Sunamganj and Molavi Bazar improves while rivers in Jamal do swell. Ukraine rejects ceasefire deal brokered.